setting up an IV or drawing blood, it's not as complicated as it seems because our blood vessels are in fairly predictable patterns, either an M or an H. Now, if you want to learn blood vessels, you can stare at this or you can try drawing it. And that's what I did. Oxygenated blood is going to go from the heart to the axillary, that means armpit. And that big artery is going to continue down into the upper arm or brachial. And it's going to divide into the radial thumb side and the ulnar on the elbow side. And it loops down around the palmar. Now our waste gases and materials are going to go back through the veins. Now they're not really blue in our body. They just look that way when light reflects off the skin. For a blood draw or IV, my first choice is median cubital. I can get a real fast draw right there. But if the patient's overweight or there's something wrong here, I'll switch to the cephalic. My last choice is the basilic. I don't like hands. There's lots of nerves there, but when I have to, I do that. We know that glucose and oxygen are being delivered in blood, but what about nitric oxide? It's a hormone that's made, and it does a lot of amazing things. Big story there. When we eat foods that have arginine in them, so pomegranates, leafy greens, nuts, seeds, different types of meat, dark chocolate, our bodies are going to convert arginine to nitric oxide, or, or O, you know. And let's look at this cutaway of a blood vessel. There's muscles along the blood vessel walls, and nitric oxide is going to cause those muscles to relax. And the result is there's a little separation here and you can see fluids are leaving the blood vessel and you might think well I don't want fluids going out of my blood bloodstream but you do because let's say you're fighting a cold you want to flood your nasal cavity with lots of defense cells because you want to stop that organism from going into your lungs that's why we don't take cold medicine because that's just going to shut this all down or if you're working out we want lots of glucose and blood in our muscles. It looks something like this. It's called vasodilation. So the blood vessel walls start to loosen, separate a bit, fluids move out, and we get increased blood flow. Like if you're blushing, that's a good example. Now to a biochemist, it looks something like this. The blood vessel walls, the muscles here, lateral view, Nitric oxide, now the, one of the reasons I'm showing you this formula is that there's this guanulate cyclase, or GC, and that's in our tissues, and it's going to bind to NO, and only then do we have that relaxation I've been talking about. Now the reason I'm going through this is that some people spend lots of money on products like nitric oxide beverage, and the reality is you can have a six pack of nitric oxide, but your tissues are going to run out of GC and your workout's over. That's it. So it's interesting how our bodies have ways, they have limits. Okay, now there are substances like Viagra that can cause some localized vasodilation. But for the most part, our body shuts down when our GC is gone. Now I did an activity because I wanted to see what happens. When I measure the diameter of my arm when I'm relaxed, I measured, I, I used a tape measure around my palm, my forearm, my upper arm, and my armpit area. My tape measure only had inches, so I had to convert inches to centimeters by multiplying 2.54. The result was there's my circumference when I was relaxed and then what I did is for 10 minutes I worked out really hard I got a chair I did chair push-ups I curled the chair I did everything I could to get a good pump in my upper arm but my circumference in my palm 0.4 centimeters that's pathetic and not much in my forearm either here's where I got the big gains nice pump there when I charted it it looks something like this my palm Form, 
my brachial, and my axillary. Now, whenever we do a chart like this, we always have to clarify because what if I hand this chart off at the end of my shift? The next person has to know what does P mean? P means palmar, R means radial ulnar, and so forth. I did a narrative on this part, just you know, talked about well, our body releases nitric oxide when we exercise. And by the way, let's say you don't want to exercise. You can just sit in a hot tub or a hot bath and vasodilate. And so you can still do this activity that way if you're just not feeling up to exercising. And I did a narrative down below. I mentioned leafy greens, nuts. And there you have it, my drawing up on top with my name and title. And down below my chart, the narrative, and some important points there.